Hey guys, that's at Costco. They have something really interesting at Costco right now. It's dried Atlantic sea cucumbers from Canada. So this is pretty neat. Um, I was kind of intrigued at what this was. And then seeing that it cost $45 a pound, I was kind of skeptical. And then I realized this stuff costs even more uh, if I bought it at the restaurant or whatever. So, or bought it even like frozen. So it's, they were $45 a pound. It's actually pretty worth it. There's other ones online, on sale online, but it costs anywhere from $50 all the way to like a hundred bucks a pound online. So I'll leave a few links below if you want to see some more links. Um, this is a quick, quick uh, overview of the bag, the nutrition value. You want to pause it and you want to take a look at the, the, the barcode if you want to. Uh, this is pretty neat. Again, this is a uh, Atlantic dried sea cucumber. So I'm pretty sure there's like Alaskan and other cucumbers around the world, sea cucumbers around the world. So let's open this guy up and do a quick unboxing and see what these things actually look like. So let's go ahead. It's in a little uh, Ziploc bag, which is cool. This is the first time I've cooked this. I never cooked this before. And for $45, it seems like a good experiment to try out. Um, according to what the instruction says on the box, I'm supposed to put this um, in cold water and let it soak for in the refrigerator for like three to four days or three to, no, I'm sorry, two to three days until it's you know rehydrated and then change the water out every 12 or 24 hours or something. So I'll probably just leave this in the refrigerator, soak it, and try it out. I'm still in the bag so it doesn't, you know, grow mold, I guess, or rehydrate or get the air. So anyways, sealed or closed. Here's a quick look at it. They look kind of like um, avocado rinds or skins. <laughs> to be honest, these are kind of interesting. It smells really interesting. It's, um, it has an interesting sea smell to it, and it looks really cool, to be honest. It's kind of a reddish inside orange reddish inside i've seen other cucumbers with like weird little spikes on it that i've seen at the chinese supermarket and i was just curious at 45 dollars a pound it's a good deal because normally these are anywhere from 50 60 70 100 dollars a pound depends on where it came from there's some that are from japan some from anywhere so anyways for 45 bucks i figured this was super interesting i wanted to try something new so that's why i did this so i could do an unboxing so you guys could take a look at what this stuff looks like so if you want to take a look wow it's it's pretty neat it's already gutted and stuff normally if you buy the stuff at chinese supermarkets you buy it frozen and they still have it's like the whole thing's still frozen and it's um you know basically all the guts are still in there but these are already gutted and these just dried it so there's other ones you can buy at like uh, Chinese supermarkets or Korean supermarkets. They actually have it dried already. Just like this, but it's like, like I said, it's easily 50, 60, 70, 100 bucks a pound or more. Uh, depends on what type it is. So for fun, I'm going to try it. 45 bucks, you know, it's, it's going to be a very expensive um, experiment. But the instructions again, basically put in a clean container, put some cold water in there, put it in the refrigerator for three days, let it soak to hydrate and change out the water every day. Yeah, every day, not 12 hours, every day. According to what they're saying right here. And basically after about, you know, cook it for 30 minutes and make sure it's soft and test it if it's soft and repeat until it's soft enough to eat. So usually the Chinese um, basically put it in some sort of other sauce and they cook it with that in the soup and other things. So this should be pretty fun. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, I might make another video later because it's gonna take three days to do this. <laughs> so it should be fun. Anyways, I figured I'll let you know, it's only about three to f two to three inches a piece for these cucumbers. So just gonna put some water in here and just like soak it. I'll probably make another video in about later this week on how this thing turned out. So stay tuned for more. Anyways, guys, please give me a like, subscribe, leave some comments below if you tried some of this uh, sea cucumber stuff and a big thank you to all the 8,000 subscribers to the Sterling W channel as well as SterlingWong.com if you want to see more of my posts and stuff and like subscribe, leave some comments below. And of course I have other reviews like the accent light I just did for the bars. I, this is a one year review. I had that for a while. Uh, food reviews from Costco as well because a lot of my stuff I buy is off of Costco because I'm a Costco fan and you know that by now. Also DIYs and repair videos as well. Uh, so like, subscribe, hit the bell button for more. And of course, thanks a lot for watching. And of course, all the fun. Look at back at some of the other playlists for other reviews and other funds and finds and DIYs, repairs, maintenance, other fun stuff like that. See you next time. Thanks for watching.